Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to enable SSH on your Raspberry Pi so that you can connect to it from a different computer. As you see today, my setup is a little bit different. I have one monitor with my Windows computer and another monitor for my Raspberry Pi. So only one of the uh, HDMI ports are used. Use the one that's closer to the power supply as recommended by the webpage itself. So let's begin. I'm gonna just set this up here. First, you'll need to know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. You could do this simply by hovering your mouse over the Wi-Fi icon here and you can see that my IP address is 192.168.0.112. This is a local IP address. It will not work with something that's on a different network, basically. Basically, your router is going to throw it out. So don't worry about someone being hacking into your computer through that method. So on my Windows machine, I want to open the command console. Let's try pinging that address first. So ping 198, I'm just gonna settle this down. 198.168.0.112. and dash O to change the username to Pi, which is the username of my Raspberry Pi. Connection refused. That's because I did not enable it on the Raspberry Pi. Now I'm gonna to switch to looking at the Raspberry Pi. There's two ways you could enable it. The easy way is through the GUI or you just go to preference, Raspberry Pi configuration, this lovely window will show up. And you go to interface. As you can see, that they're on SSH, the same network, and I can ping it. You need to enable it. try SSH. Click OK. With the same IP address. At the same time, you can do the same thing through the terminal if you have the command line enabled. You type, open the terminal, you type RAS, RASP config, let's see. Let me open my cheat sheet on the other side. So it's pseudo raspy config over dash. And I'll open this user interface. Let's focus on it. On this user interface, you'll use the arrow keys to go into interface options which is the same as the interface option here. Just gonna put them side by side, you can see. Click enter. On the second row, there's SSH config, configuration, enable, disable. And right now I have it it's asked, would you like to have SSA server to be enabled? I had an option to no. If I press on the left, it'll be yes. 
but I don't want to do it through this interface. Well, I could if I want. No flash says server is enabled. Okay. And then finish. Afterwards, you'll need to restart your Raspberry Pi. If I do, well, I did do the same thing here. If I click OK, it'll apply it. On the GUI side, you don't have to do it both times, but uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I did it both times now. You only had to do it on one of these two options. One from the 10, ones, one of these options from the terminal and the other from the user interface. So, if you remember, it's just here, preference, Azure Pi configuration. Then you click OK. I'm not sure why it didn't ask me to restart, but you'll need to restart. That's the wrong one. Log out. Restart. It's rebooting. Just wait for it. If you remember from last time, I had it start on command line so it won't start the GUI right away. So to start the GUI, I type start x, start x, enter, and load the GUI. So everything is open. Check if your network status is good. The Wi-Fi is still running. The IP address is it's usually gonna stay the same. If it changes, you'll need to use the new IP address. It usually changes when you get a new contract from your router, so that rarely happens. So back here, all I have to do is press the up key to retype the SSH command. Or if you want, I can ping it, ping it first. I'll ping it first. You see that the computer is alive. Okay, time out. Fly. So it worked. Well, because it it was still booting up. So the second time. Last time again, which is kind of weird, but uh, I'll just say it works. Then the SSH command, which is SSH 192 0112-L pi. Enter. Supposed to try to connect. It's taking a while. It's asking me for the password. By the way, I wasn't cheating or anything, I'm just checking if it was properly set when it restarted. So, no cheating there. Okay. Right. Once it's asked for your password, just type in your username and password for your, that you set with your Raspberry Pi. 
enter and wait and now you're logged in to your Raspberry Pi using SSH this is the command line interface so you do your normal stuff like LS I don't know why is it kind of slow right now I think one of the reasons why is because I I have the graphical terminal on that's one of the why I disabled it before so I could connect to it without having the graphical interface on.